Okay, so I'm anchored in Rincon and I'm getting ready to go. The wind, it's about 11 o'clock now, 10.30, something like that, 11. Anyway, I kind of lose track of time around here. But anyway, I'm going to try something I've never done before, but I've always wanted to do, and that's to heave up the anchor and sail off of the anchor. Now, normally that wouldn't be a problem because we're not on the lee shore, but there is a catamaran behind me. So I have to be careful of that. You see that catamaran right there? I don't want to drift down to him. And there's the dive boat that's usually here. It has people out at Desacheo Island right now. And this other boat is over here. And the charter boat is gone over here. So this ought to be interesting. So wish me luck. I've got my line set up so that I can, once I get the anchor up, I should be able to get things underway really quickly. So here we go. Welcome, I'm Tim and this is SV Paquita. Come along as I stumble through trying to make a transition from being a lifelong professional mariner to switching over to the recreational side, learning how to sail and uh, hopefully one day getting ready to sail around the world. But right now, we're in the Caribbean, getting ready to uh, come back to New England pretty soon, so strap in, come aboard, and uh, hope you like what we have to show you here. Thank you so much for watching. Now, since I'm doing this, I'm going to rig for sea. Oh, got my flip-flops. Take those in before I forget. And if any of you are wondering what this black line is, because I'm not the experience, I'm not at the experience level that I yearn to be at, I use a preventer on the main. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the snubber out here. So what we're going to do is lift up the, we're going to lift up the chain until the snubber comes up. Then once the snubber comes up, we'll uh, go and take that off. Okay, so here comes the, here comes the uh, anchor road. And as I, I don't know if I've said it in other videos or not, but uh. On the tugboats, we just run the windlass, and the windlass will pull the barge and everything right up there with the hydraulics. But because this is electric, I don't want to burn out the brushes. So I just do a little bit at a time, and it pulls us forward. As you can see, there's the snubber, and it's kind of a good shot of the snubber. And once again, for those that don't know, a, the purpose of a snubber <laughs> is to uh, make it so there isn't a, a metal... Uh, a whole metal connection to the boat that there's a uh, spring, the line will spring, and it takes the pressure off of the, uh, the windlass. And when the boat rolls in the swell, it doesn't go, you know, the metal has no spring, so it would come up tight. So that's what's kind of nice about having the nylon line. Okay, snubber is now off. I'm going to take in this side over here. You guys aren't seeing this, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. So. There we go. Take it up on this side. I'm going to do it off of this cleat. Now. When we launched this, I put a camera on this, on the anchor, to do kind of a, almost what I'd call a Dellis style anchoring, and uh, where the camera went overboard. And so uh, the, the camera's been at the bottom here in about 25 feet of water all night, but uh, I'm sure that it's fine. So like I say, I, because I'm not running the engine, because my idea is that I'm gonna be uh, sailing off the anchor, I don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on the windlass, so I bring up the, the, the weight of the chain should fight against the uh, wind, and you can see we're slowly moving it in, all at the same time without putting too much pressure on the windlass. Here, I'll move this so that you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go. And you can see these lines, see the lines that are 
woven into the chain. They mark off 25 feet. A uh, tugboat chain comes in what we call shots, and that's uh, 90 feet. So when we anchor the tug, we'll say like three or three and a half shots. So that'll be three and a half units that are 90 pieces. But because we, we never anchor in that much water and we, we don't have that much weight that the barge does and that sort of stuff, we just do it, I just do it with a 25 foot marker. So every 25 feet we've got a little marker. And the last place I was in last uh, two nights ago was really muddy. And I, I have my uh, washdown hose set up so that the washdown, so that we could clean fish. And it's in the back and I haven't brought it up here, but I gotta wash all this mud off. Okay, so now we're just about straight up and down, which means the anchor should be ready to be pulled off the bottom. And here it comes now. You can hear the chain falling in the chain locker, which is just what we want to do. We're in sand, so the anchor is coming up very clean. And there's the camera. Of course, it's not running. You know, I ran it until it would run out of, uh, until it ran out of juice. Hopefully, it's not filled with water. Okay, so now we're secure. Now I gotta get this thing, I gotta set sail and make sure we get out of here before uh, I land on anything because uh, that's what's happening. <laughs> So let me put this over here. You guys can uh, wish me luck. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the mainsail. Relatively broad reach, so I think that's going to be all right for there. Now I got to set them, set the uh, Genoa. So I got to release this, get this stuff out of the way so it doesn't get caught. All right. I'm just watching to make sure that we have a go. Okay, now I need to, the other side is fetched up, so I'll let that go. And now I go from the fast speed of the winch to the slow speed of the winch. I really should move the cars further back, but I think that's going to be fine for now. Catching a little bit of the wind, and it says we're doing 1.5 knots, so we are starting to take off, all of which is good. And see what we have for wind. What do we have for wind? Come over here. We've got seven knots of true. Since we're not really moving that much. It's probably close to seven knots apparent as well. <laughs> but uh, we're slowly catching the wind. And you know what? While we're going slow, slowly, as my mom would say, I might veer off the wind because I'm not going to hit that catamaran now. I'm going to come down a little have it be more of a more of a on the beam like a beam okay so okay so I'm gonna put the autopilot on to hold me in course I'm gonna let up pressure on the head sail so I can move the car back and let me show you what I'm talking about so if you look at the sail right now you can see that this red and white line goes up there to that car that thing over there is a car and it's on this slide and right now I don't need the, the sail to be pulled down as much as I need to get it pulled back. So that's my task at hand. I can't move it right now because there's pressure on it. So I have to relieve the pressure. And uh, that, I'm going to do that by letting off on, the, on the, the sheet. So I let this off and hopefully that will be enough to suffice while I go out there and fight with this thing. Now I'm going to slide the car all the way back. Okay. So we got it back. Now all I got to do is tighten up that head sail 
and we should have a better shape of the sail. So pull in on the Genoa sheet. And I can already tell we're going faster. I'm not setting any speed records, that's for sure. We got five knots of wind right now. Oh, it just went up to seven. This is what I'm looking at right here. Seven knots, and then if I bring it over here, we're doing 2.29 knots, but that's all right. I got nowhere to go. So that's me getting underway. Now I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna stow my uh, snubber. I'm gonna put that away and properly get that done. Uh, I might go up there and clean, blow the uh, all the mud off from the other night. And I also gotta retrieve my camera that I put on the, on the end of the anchor, hoping that uh, that's gonna be all fine. Anyway, that's me getting underway. First time ever, yay. Okay, so I just started the engine for the first time since yesterday. Sailed uh, about 18 miles down here. And uh, that was kind of fun without ever starting the engine. Luckily, the engine started. That hasn't been an issue so far. But, uh oh, here comes an inbound fast mover coming right at me. Yeah, he's going to pass this. Fourth floor. Anyway, I got to get into the marina. And uh, I'm all by myself on this one. So it'll be interesting. So uh, come along and hopefully you won't witness anything that I don't want you to see. <laughs> Start 
taking way off now. I'm going to turn on my bow thruster and verify that we've got it working on the other side. Alright, seems to be working, so uh, hopefully that won't be an issue. There's a little bit of wind coming at me right now, so that will actually help me do the turn until I get in. Then it will push me up against the pilot, so I've got to be a little careful here. Now, don't get me wrong. I can call the marina and ask them to help me. I can call my friend Troy. He, he's on his boat over there. He can help me. Um, but I'm pretty confident I can do this alone. And uh, so uh, I'll try it from there. Got a lot of the speed taken off now. Not quite in clutch yet. We're getting there. And I am worried that with this wind, the dinghy's going to be on the wrong side. It's going to blow out around to the starboard side, and I really need the dinghy on the port side. So that could be an issue. But we've got to uh, tackle one problem at a time. All right, now I'm going to take it right down to clutch, take some more speed off. I really should have some more cameras set up for you guys. But one cut of the nothing, right? So I still haven't seen anybody over in my slip. Oh, actually, actually, I think there is somebody in my slip. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, there might be, I think there's somebody in my slip. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Yep, yep, there's somebody in my... Oh, no, wait. Wait, 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 No, there isn't. All that for not. Worried about it? Just an optical illusion. All right, so I'm going to bring the bow over and do an S-turn to try to get the stern swinging that way. So I'm going the wrong way first, and then I'll spin the stern around. I'm in neutral right now. Just coasting, taking some speed off. Trying to keep in mind that when the stern when I start backing, it will back the port. Now, say I just need to hope that my uh, dinghy won't blow on the wrong side of me. Okay, I'm going to start backing now. that are wondering, I have a floating line on my dinghy so that I don't have to worry about catching it in the wheel. Alright, so now I'm in between, almost in between the two uh, pilings here. So everything's looking good, so now I just need to back up. The dinghy's on the right side, and I have to make sure that I'm tight enough to the starboard side to let the dinghy through. What I mean by the dinghy through is that the dinghy has to get through by the piling. So in order to do that, I'm just going to slow everything down. So we're just going to take our time. We can lean up against the piling. We can't lean up against the dock because that's cement. Everything's going nice and smooth. Okay, we just touched one of our fenders, which is exactly why we have that there. Now I'm a little concerned because the stern's going the wrong way, so I'm going to pull the bow to the port. And that means I want to come ahead with a rudder hard over the port to get my stern over to the starboard. And if I lean up against the piling on the port side, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't want to be too far away from the dock. So, there we go. I have the rudder hard over, I have it in clutch. Now I've gone all stop. I got, I'm gonna start backing up again. And once again, the, the, the boat will back at port, which isn't exactly ideal for me, but it's gonna be fine. Just comes back real nice and easy. Let's see, let's see any of this over here. 
nice and easy. The wind has dropped out right here. So now the only thing I have to do is to be cognizant that I don't run into anything. Okay, the bow is coming over to the starboard side. So I'm going to start pushing, having the, uh, having the bow thruster go to the port, which will drive the stern over a little bit. I'm also going to come put the rudder hard over the port and touch it in, and that will push the stern over as well. thruster to try to get everything moving to the right. Okay, now some wind is blowing on us, which is going to help us out too. Okay, at this point, I think I can go all stop and check how my fenders are lining up. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so that's gonna work now if I get my stern line. thing was I don't want to pull too fast, too, too quickly. So now that I've got the stern line over here, you know I can also put out my, my spring. I'm gonna line up and try to get the other have the other uh, lines on the uh, piling up here. And we're lining up good. Fenders are all right there. I'll make sure that I don't spring anywhere. Everything's good. I'm gonna use the bow thruster to bring me over there. Okay. That's how we do it. So now 
all I have to do. Oh, look at that, and it started to rain. Perfect timing, got to the dock. I got one line left to go and the rain is coming down. That's how you do it all alone. Thank you guys.